All right. I'm Shonda. I'm Jeff. And uh, we just got this little box in the mail. Uh, the Heatonist. Stay, hashtag stay spicy. And I am told that this sauce is made with the new world's hottest pepper. The world's hottest pepper. You mean you're going to try the world's hottest pepper Pretty much. sauce? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, that's what we're um, here, here to do. Yeah. So we thought it'd be fun to do it on camera. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is a complete surprise for me today, and a, I guess a welcome surprise. We'll see if I survive. Um, the heatness, Noah Chamberg. Um, I, I actually remember talking to him before he opened up the heatness in 2000. I thought I don't know when he. I think he opened it in 2015, but before that, we were talking and sending him some sauces for his shop and stuff like that. So um, really interesting. It's good to see him go full circle. How this uh, business uh, working with hot ones and. And now the hottest chili uh, pepper sauce in the world. Um, and it's called the last dab, right? Yep. So um, just to kind of, I'll put on the screen what the Scoville scale looks like if you're not familiar with it. But what, I guess let's do a little summary of what the Scoville scale is for those who don't know what that so means. So Scoville heat, heat units uh, are SHU. Mm -hmm. It's basically how much you have to dilute um a a pepper in order to get no heat mm -hmm. and it's a scale and it was developed a long time ago and you can look it up on the internet and get all the details but yes. it's a it's a way to measure heat in sauces and peppers yes so i will have that up on the screen here so you can see but basically you've got um they put comparisons on it of low heat level peppers up to the like a jalapeno yeah. would be like 3,000 scoba units yeah for example so you have an arrow which a lot of people feel is very hot can be 150,000 to 300,000 mm -hmm. and then an anaheim would be like very very low on the scale like zero yeah almost. <laughs> and then so what so what did we find that the apollo pepper measures in it it says well, roughly it, right it says it's ranging up about three million <laughs> I don't, I don't know if this is very smart, you know. <laughs> Glad you brought the peanut butter. Yeah. So. Yeah, a lot of people use milk, but for some reason we use peanut butter. We can kind of tend to. Yeah, we all it, found that it, was what we liked, I guess. Yeah, but. it works in the uh, judging of the hot summer night competition that we have. Yes. So and and we, we are looking for sponsors for the hot summer night 2023. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know. I'm kind of a. I don't think we're gonna have to help these people sell this. They have hot ones. They have the heat mist. All great organizations who are are huge. Yeah. No, we're so. just we're just doing this for the the fun of it. <laughs> I, I'm a little. We call it fun. I'm a little intimidated. I'm scared to open this. <laughs> All right, man up. Let's go. <laughs> heat level ten out of ten. Okay. So so on on the hot ones. This is, what's it called? A, it's called a... Don't drop it. <laughs> hot ones, the last stab. Yeah. So that's the last, the last wing, right? Yep. It's the one that's going to kill all the celebrities. Yep. Yep. So if they make it that far. So the last dab. Apollo is the world's only hot sauce made with the Apollo pepper, the new hottest pepper from Guinness World Record holding chili breeders smoking Ed Curry. The Apollo pepper channels the sun's energy bring new levels of flavor and heat to the world of super hots. Live the hot ones tradition. Okay. And the ingredients are, <laughs> I think just, it's just pepper and the Apollo vinegar, pepper, right? Yeah, the Apollo pepper distilled vinegar, the Apollo pepper powder, and the Apollo pepper uh, distillate. Dis distillate? It's like so this is the Apollo pepper, you know? Yeah. This is the new pepper. It's the new hottest one. It's it's, it's a combo between the Reaper and Pepper X. So, it's supposed to be hotter than that, which will probably bring it in the range of 3 million Scoville units. And there's nothing else in this sauce to try to tame it a little bit either, or like dilute it. Again. So. A jalapeno, 3,000. So if and we're, Apollo, 3 million. So if we're talking like our hot sauce competition, you know, we range from mild sauces up to extra hot. What are some of the typical peppers used in an extra hot sauce? If you were thinking in terms of like heat, yeah, you're level. you're, you're going to get the ghost, the scorpion, the reaper, mm -hmm. you know. And where do those range on the Scoville scale? Oh, they're anywhere from a million to two million. Yeah. So this one, we've not tasted in the competition. 
<laughs> no, this is the first for us. So Do you think it's going to burn through our That's why we spoons? wanted to film it to see if we... If we can handle if we, it. If we make any bad faces. Yeah. But you know what? That's the thing. Because <clears throat> I think that sometimes when people watch people eating hot sauce, you expect a reaction. And it's really hard to get a reaction when you're used to eating hot sauce. So, so do we try? Do we try not to react? Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. There's only been one other thing. No, there's been two different competitions that I've tried. Like I've tried the spiciest chocolate. I've tried the I think it's called Satan's Toe, which is like a lollipop that's really hot. And then I've done the Cuckoo Rooster Sign the Waiver Hot Chicken Sandwich. Yeah. And the the hot chicken sandwich got a very strong reaction out of me. And then. The bite that I took of it. Yeah. Um, and then Satan's, <laughs> Satan's toe was, I ate like, I'm not exaggerating, probably half a gallon of ice cream. I've eaten a reaper pepper, I've grown a reaper peppers, ghost peppers, scorpion peppers, and, and I've actually eaten s slices of them. I'm not one of those guys that can eat a whole pepper and yeah. just keep eating mm -hmm. them. But there are some people, I guess, probably less than a hundred in the world that can actually do that without getting. Yeah, I would, my, my 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 problem is usually in my stomach. Yeah, it's the aftermath yeah. that like you feel like there's a hole being burned in your stomach. That's how we I discovered think... peanut butter. Actually, <laughs> yeah. was, um, I had had um, uh, one of those chicken yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, I think it was the Cougar chicken yeah. reaper's chicken sandwich and with all the powder and, and everything. And I ate he that. ate it fine. No I had problem. a bite and was like going through the waves of reaction and then you had I think like three bites yeah I had you kind of well, finished had, the sandwich finished for us and, and he's like yeah this is spicy oh yeah it is and then but then like about 10 minutes later my yeah. stomach started reacting and I thought I was going to die so I, I looked up <laughs> you know what can we do besides you know milk because all that that did was just fill your stomach yeah so we decided let's use uh well, we saw we found orange juice and peanut butter yeah mom and i swear it, right? i think she's like yeah. orange juice and peanut butter yeah so right away i mean i had the orange juice and my stomach settled down which sounds so counter yeah like, acidy or yeah. something you'd think it'd be a reaction but it just it, it was like taking uh tums or pepto-bismol <laughs> man it felt like oh i can live yeah. and the and the, the the peanut butter stuck to your mouth and made it kind of like mm -hmm soften the blow from the heat yeah. so you know so i think historical reference he has a higher heat tolerance than i do um i think different high level peppers affect you differently than they mm -hmm. affect me though yeah. like like no leaper for me is usually the one that just like gets me yeah. um but we'll see who can well, they say, not sweat or cry or they say the reaper or is or... more fruity and the pepper x is more earthy and so we'll see yeah. how that combination is with this sauce and, <laughs> and we're not going to mess around we're going to just take a spoon of it um it we're not putting it on a, a chicken spoon. wing no yeah we're, we're gonna just we're gonna do it right i guess or wrong um yeah probably wrong so what what reaction do you think is going to happen from this though do you think it's going to be like crying sweating coughing choking um, um i think i'm going to be hardly able to talk mm. um i'm going to be in complete pain in my mouth mm -hmm. and throat mm -hmm. and it's going to transfer to my stomach I'm going to try to eat some peanut butter, but it's not going to help. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I think I, I tend to pace. And this isn't a good space for pacing, but you, we'll see. Oh, pace. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Let's just, yeah. just, I feel like we're, I feel Prolonging like we're trying, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could talk a lot. Yeah. yeah, we're just, this is supposed to be two minutes. Oh, well, by the way, in case I can't speak, go ahead and pour it. In case I can't speak any longer. Uh, we do have a Venmo at Old Boney. Yes. And if, how much are we pouring? How, how, how much do you want? It doesn't really matter. Well, I did this. I did do I have to do more than you? Because no, I you just have to do the same because then if, it, if if something happens to where like I'm beating you in terms of reaction, then you're going to be like, say. you didn't have, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so we did about like a, a nickel size so, in this spoon, I think. So you can Venmo at Old Boney a rating of one dollar, which means it sucks. This is a terrible video. To ten dollars, <laughs> it was very entertaining and enjoyable. Or you can pay for my medical bills. <laughs> Venmo me that. All right, you ready? No. <laughs> Cheers. Fruity, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is gonna be smoky. Smoky. 
Yeah, back of my throat. Um, Definitely want straight to the back of my throat. Yeah. This is going to be one of those ones where I think it's not bad and now it's going to kill me in like yeah, it's a minute. Yeah, it's going to creep up. I can feel it on my tongue, on the roof of my mouth, on the back yeah. of my throat, and I yeah. somehow got some on my front tooth. <laughs> like in the gum line right here, so. I feel like I need... It's starting to creep. It is. You feel like you need what? More? No, yeah. this is going to creep up just like that stupid sandwich. No, I know it is, but I got to have more. It has a it's a it's a really good flavor to it. It is. It's, it's a very, smoky. I love the fruitiness of it. Yeah. It's actually a really well made sauce in that it's it's tangy a little bit from the vinegar, mm -hmm. and then immediately you got the fruitiness. It's got a great consistency. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna go for it. No, wait. You gotta wait at least like a minute. You are you trying to get more of stomach problems? <laughs> No, I mean, I'm serious. It, it's a good flavor. It, it's a I really like the good sauce. flavor. Yeah. It kind of like, right when I started talking, like, puff, like. Yeah, I can feel it. But then, yeah, I'm not dying the way I thought I was no, going to. No, me neither. And I, I, I'm afraid to say that. I know. Because I'm like, is something coming that I don't know about? But a whole spoon. You're, you do realize that the reason I'm saying no is because I'm going to have to do it, right? Yeah, you are. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I'll wait until you realize that you uh, can do it. My hand is sweating out of just seeing that spoon. We're professionals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gonna do it? I have to. I can feel it. I mean, but you it's should. a good flavor. I can it's feel it. It's a good it. meat. It's a good flavor. Is this what you did? You wanna just fill it up? No. I'll fill it up. I know you will. It's because you're just trying to make me look better. I am not. I just feel like I need to get the full flavor. It's really good flavor. It is. It is. They did a good job with this. Yeah. I think it's going to be a um, a, a good um, sauce for, for hot ones. If, yeah. If it's not already been on there. <laughs> I know. We probably should have checked into that. I'm sure before eating this. All right. You ready? I think this is where we're going to have stomach problems. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can feel the heat. Yeah, me too. But no, we're really we're gonna get it throughout our whole mouth and our stomachs. Is this Cheers. masochism? Let's <laughs> do it. Switch it around a little bit. I just like to slurp it, or <laughs> I got a little bit of something in the back of my throat on that one. Okay, I got it on I my got... lips a little. Like, I mean, I got like a chunk of something, kind of, like a small chunk. Oh my God. Spreading through my teeth, kind of, my tongue, my lips. That's the tissue for this. I mean, I feel like this one's going to build more because it probably is hitting me in spice more right now. The flavor is really good. Yeah. Now the, um, you know, I'm trying to think, you know, with the Apollo pepper, distilled vinegar, or pepper powder. Yeah. It's, my mouth is watering now. Yeah, I can feel, I can feel the heat on my tongue. Yeah. Like I can feel it starting to really build. Yeah. Yeah. My, uh, my tongue's getting hot. My whole mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> my like, lips. I feel like I'm breathing fire. Shout out to Tarantula Hill, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Fat and Spicy. I got their favorite shirt on. <laughs> okay, so. That was a lot, a lot more. Yeah, like I can, I feel like I'm trying to cool my mouth off by exhaling or inhaling. Like the exhale's yeah. stoking the fire. Yeah, but um, I got it right on the front of my tongue. Coming out my lips. I have it a little bit on my upper lip and on like my whole tongue, but... Are you sweating at all? No, but I, I feel like, like I sweating. look white. My hand's a little bit. I feel like I always sweat. <laughs> so weird, isn't it? It's good stuff. It's really good flavor. Like, like we were saying, right when you said that you taste that tropical fruity pepper, and then all of a sudden...
sudden it gets you with the more kind of earthy, spicy, yeah. boldness. It's not overwhelming. No. I, I know a lot of times. But it's also not like a vinegar sauce. No, and no. that's what surprises me is that it's just the pepper and the vinegar, but it tastes heartier than yeah, that. Yeah, you don't get a lot of vinegar. Mm -mm. You get um, you get the flavor of the pepper, but it's not. I'm in like a really comfortable place with it right now, too. On my mouth, like it's not. It's, it's not a. Um, it's not a reaper pepper flavor. No, and, and that's I, what I I wouldn't like the flavor. I've never had a pepper X, so I don't know that. But it, they say it's that earthy pepper, so I, I'm getting more of that earthy. Yeah, it starts out fruity and then gets earthy. Yeah. But the way that that like marries itself is a great flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well good job, you guys. I was waiting. <laughs> I tried to like prolong this. But... If I had to say anything, I'd say if, if you like hot sauce, this is a good hot sauce. It is. And so it wasn't just built for heat. No. It was built for flavor. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the like challenges that people do are just trying to kill you, yeah. you know? And, but this one, they're like, well, we, we want you to be able to eat it afterwards too and maybe dilute it with food if it is too spicy for you. Right. Right. So, so I, I would. As a as a hot sauce critic, I would say well done. Yeah. Yeah, because it's the hottest peppers in the world. Yeah. And it's a great flavor. Yeah. And I, I don't I really don't need to dilute it. I know. I was like, get this out of the yeah. camera. Right. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, you guys. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for sharing that Thank with you. us. And uh, thanks hope to for see watching. you on hot summer night. Yes, oldbodymountain.org and. Um, Feel free to rate this video sign in some up, way. Sign up like your it. hot sauce into the Comment event. Comment on it, like it. Sponsor the Tell event. Tell me it sucks, I don't care. Yeah, come sponsor our hot summer night. Venmo or old boy to, to rate this video of $1 yeah. to $10. Yeah, and if you are a hot sauce maker, please consider entering the hot summer night competition. Registration's open now. That's right, oldbonymountain.org.